Good afternoon, Eastland parents. Um, welcome to another week at Five at Five. Um, I'm here with another student who is going to be hosting us today, and I'm going to let my friend Charlie introduce himself. So, hi, I'm Charlie uh, in eighth grade, Ospreys. And what are some of the things, Charlie, that you do to help make Elms the school that it is? What do you participate in? Uh, well, right now I'm doing drama club. Nice. I'm the lead. I'm SpongeBob. Excellent. So, yeah. SpongeBob. Congratulations. Um, yeah. I also usually GSA hasn't started yet. Mm -hmm. but I usually join GSA, and I might be doing writing club. Excellent. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. Awesome. How has your transition to um, uh, Eastland Middle School been this, this year so far? So far, it's been great. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So we do have some special guests here today. Can you talk us a little bit about who these people are? So these are the new teachers. Mm -hmm. um, yep, there are our new members, our newest members here at Eastland Middle School. So why don't we start on the end? If you could just say who you are for our families at home. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Camille Sarna Fenley. I'm a new special education teacher. I support seventh and eighth grade students um, with a lot of different things, structured literacy and the like. And um, a fun fact about me is I have a daughter who was born on uh, February 29th, so I believe baby. Excellent. Hi, I'm Mr. Lilliedal, the new uh, English language arts teacher on the Big Blue team, uh, teaching seventh graders this year. And I'm a huge Yankees and Packers fan, so I'm very excited about the baseball playoffs and the start of the football season. Okay, how about over here? I am Miss Canamella. I am uh, teaching all grades because I am the Spanish teacher. And fun fact, um, I taught for 21 years at NFA and the last six years in Italy, and now I'm back in the States teaching here. And I'm Miss Costa. I'm the new special education teacher on the Neptunes Kiva for fifth grade. A fun fact about me is I love to hike, and this summer I got to hike in Zion National Park in Utah, which was amazing. Awesome. And I just want to say um, thank you to for being part of our staff. You've been a welcome addition, and uh, we look forward to all the great things that you could bring forward to our school this year. So thank you thank all. You. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Charlie, um, we also had an assembly yesterday looking yes. in theater. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? So the assembly was actually pretty cool, I thought, because... What they did was they did six skits and they let us talk to the characters that the actors portrayed and talk about what they did and all of that stuff. Uh, but afterwards, I was invited to a special... Breakout session. Yes, where we talked about sort of like what feedback we could give to them, what other topics they could cover, how the, like did we um, I'm looking for the words. Did we uh, like relate to any mm -hmm. of the skits, mm -hmm. the topics? So that was fun. And it was good for me. I sat in on it too. So from an administrator's point of view, we're always looking at ways to make our school better and to make improvements. And I think yes. for me, the biggest takeaway was having um, our students recognize, use your voice, talk to the people that are here, have a trusted adult, and to um, come to us to help us facilitate change and make sure that everybody feels welcome and accepted. So, um, good assembly. So, great. All right, next week we have Picture Day. Yes, Picture Day, the 23rd and 24th. Yep, and a half day on Thursday. Yep, so yes. on September 26th, our students will have half a day as well. Um, they will be dismissed early, and then we have staff professional development later in the afternoon. So, um, again, it looks like a busy week on tap following um, and then we have actually a, on the 23rd a home soccer game excellent and this year soccer is new to us so if you get an opportunity please come on out um, you know support our students support our kids um, I know that cross country is supposed to have their first meet um, it will be this coming Thursday um, so we're starting so please come out and support our students um, I also want to thank our families who had the opportunity to come to back to school night. It's always great to see you. So, um, you know, thank you for sharing and, and uh, being part of your students' um, journey and kind of getting an idea of what happens on team. Just the last update from our nurse. And uh, we talked about this on the morning news to our students. Um, if your student does need to, to utilize medication, whether it's Tylenol, ibuprofen, or even cough drops, 
That is something that we need a doctor's order from. So students can't have that in their backpacks to take um, you know, during the day. Um, send that, that doctor's note in, um, we'll be sure to get it to them, but all of that needs to go through the nurse's office for, as you can imagine, just safety reasons for our, all of our student body. Um, other than that, is there anything else? Right. I appreciate your help, you did an awesome job, and congratulations, I can't wait to see your role in SpongeBob. And again, to our new staff, thank you for uh, being here, and um, look forward to a great year with all of you. Thanks. Bye everybody, Bye. see you next week, Bye. five at five.